Hello guys, this is Gaurav here and welcome to my channel. Python is one of the most popular language in computation and that is the reason that it contains hundreds of open source libraries that can make our lives easier. Isn't it true? Well, however, there are some less known libraries or underrated libraries which can actually save our precious time. Well, in this video, I'll be sharing with you three such amazing and unique Python libraries which can make the steps dealing with data much time saving and easier. So let's dive into our content. Well, first on the list, we'll be talking about an amazing library which is PyForest. Now, before dealing with any data, there are a lot of libraries which we usually import, such as Pandas, NumPy, Seaborn, SKLearn, Matplotlib, and many more. And also it takes a lot of time to import all the required libraries for different tasks you deal in your approach. So to tackle this, PyForest is here for our rescue. So with this amazing PyForest library, you can use all your favorite Python libraries without actually importing them. So you can use a package that is not imported yet. PyForest imports the package for you and adds the code to the first Jupyter cell. And if you don't use a library, it won't be imported. Isn't it amazing? So we'll start off by executing pip install pyforest and this will download all the dependencies required for pyforest. And later we'll execute from pyforest import star. So this star represents importing all the dependencies at one go and also execute lazy imports. Now after executing this lazy imports, we can see all the libraries which are required in our data pipeline are already imported over here right from feature engineering, model selection, data visualization and etc. We can see we have date time, spacey, os, plot ly, pandas, dash and many more libraries already imported. So any library you need to execute in your code, you can directly use any of them without actually importing each of them. Isn't it amazing? So how it works is initially it creates a huge list of all the required libraries under a single code and whenever you require a certain library say if I need to use matplotlib and I execute plt.histogram so that moment our matplotlib will be imported automatically. So let's see with the example how can we use this. Now what I'm doing here is importing a random data set say mall customers from my drive and saving it in my variable df using pd.readcsv that is pandas and here I'll be creating a simple numpy array of 10 10 10 and saving it in b and printing b. So let's execute both of these codes and we can see both of our codes are being successfully executed without actually importing pandas and numpy individually. So what happens is when I require pandas and numpy my pyforest will import them for me automatically for this particular session. Now coming towards the next amazing library which is DABL. This library aims to make machine learning modeling much more accessible for beginners. For this reason it uses low code solutions for machine learning projects. DABL simplifies data cleaning creating visualization building baseline models and explaining models. Well this library is actually under improvement but yeah, we'll be seeing its amazing functionalities. So let's dive into our coding part. Now to install it, you just need to execute pip install dabl and all the dependencies will be downloaded. So let's execute this. Now the next step will be importing dabl library so that we can use it. And here we'll be using the same data set which we imported previously, which was our mall customers data set. So let's see how our data set looks like. And we have like five columns and few rows. So since this library is designed keeping in mind beginners in data science, you can find the syntax of this library much more simpler than any other library. So to clean the data, we will just execute dabl.cleanDF, that is our data frame. And magic, our whole data has been cleaned without any null values present. Now as we discussed earlier, we know that DABL also creates some amazing visualizations. So let's experiment. So initially I'll be separating my independent and dependent variables in X and Y. 
so that we can find some relations between independent and dependent variables. Now we'll, I'll just execute dabl.plot x and y and let's execute this. Okay, so x is not, okay. I didn't execute it this. So we can see amazing visuals has been plotted. We can see a bar chart, two of the scatter plots and also some box plots. So basically how it works is it automatically plots for classification and regression tasks. Firstly it determines whether the target is categorical or continuous and later plots the target distribution and then it calls the relevant plotting functions and visualization accordingly. Now for demonstrating our training part. I'll be splitting my x and y, which are independent and dependent variables, into x train, x test, y train, and y test, which are our training and testing sets using train test split and assigning random state as one. So let's execute this. Now, later, we'll execute dabl.simpleregressor.fit x train and y train. Now what will happen is our simple regressor will test our data on various regression models and it will choose the model having the best score. So let's execute this. So as you can see, the best model was selected as decision tree regressor having max depth as 5 and having R2 score of 0.13. Now when we execute dabl.simple regressor, this will compare some very simple regression models such as dummy regressor, decision tree regressor, ridge regression and this will compare and choose the best model having a decent score as we got a decision tree regressor. Now here you can't expect some models having great score because it is designed keeping beginners in mind. Now coming towards the next beautiful library which is emote. Well what is emote? Emote is a fun yet amazing library which provides a potential to improve a lot in your next NLP project. It transforms emojis and emojicons into descriptive information. So firstly, we'll be executing pip install emote to download its dependencies. So let's execute this. And the next step will be importing emote so that we can use this library. Now let's see with the example how can we use this library emote. So for example, imagine that someone posted I love Python and a smile on LinkedIn and the person didn't say the word love here. Instead, he used an emoji. So if you're using this text in NLP project, you will have to remove the emoji and lose a big piece of information. So that's where this library emote comes in. It transforms your emojis and emojicons into words. Now before executing, you need to decide whether you want to figure out the meaning of emojis or emojicons. So for emojis, the code is emote.emoji and the text which includes your emojis and we're executing emote to see the results. Now once we are done executing this command, we'll get a brief information about our emojis. That is the flag location. Location stands for the starting and the ending point of our emojis. Mean which shows the description of our emoji. That is, this is the red heart and this emoji stands for slightly smiling face and the values. So here we'll be executing emote and mean. So this will just give me the description. That is red heart and slightly smiling face. Now let's execute this for an, another example. Say emo.emoji. Please do subscribe my channel. I love data science and I and hope you like my videos. So let's execute this. And we can see that we have three emojis here, which are folded hands, red heart, and smiling face with heart eyes. So as you can see, the emojis are converted into information. So in the next NLP project, you use this library, a lot of information will be saved and you can extract insights from these emojis as well. Well, this was all from my side. Do comment which was the most amazing library. Indeed, all three were useful, but which was your personal favorite? Do comment down below.
If you felt this video helpful, please do like this video and if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get updates of latest videos updated every week. So signing off for today, stay safe, take care and bye bye.